lot of people always ask me how to clean musical instruments. We do all these videos on how to clean other stuff besides cars, but Chemicalized Products works on a variety of different things, and one of them it works great on is musical instruments. So I love music, I play a lot of musical instruments, and one of the things I love playing is percussion, drums. So I got a 1960s Ludwig drum. This was restored uh, by a friend of mine, uh, specifically for me to, to play in parades and with other bands, and uh, a real drummer can do this, you know, if I'm a drummer, I can just sit here and sit this all day. Uh, but the Ludwig drum, we're gonna keep it clean, and we're gonna make sure it looks good, and we're gonna use hybrid V7 for that. Uh, now, drums have either a lacquer coating on the outside or they have a wrap. This one actually has a red sparkle wrap, so when it's out in the sun in a parade, it just pops right out in the sun. Um, and also there's other things on the drum like metal. There's a lot of metal work, a lot of chrome, uh, a lot of copper, things like that. And we wanna make sure that it looks good, but I don't wanna use a wax on this because I have these things called drop cords and I gotta get around the drop cords because dust and things gets back there. Uh, they're just a aesthetic purpose drop cord, but we're gonna go ahead and clean it up. So we're gonna do that today with our Hybrid V7. Now the Hybrid V7 is a spray sealant quick detailer. It works great on cars, it works great on um, windows, chrome, it works on paint, uh, it also works on plastic as well. So that's why I'm gonna use this. Now this is gonna remove any dust and fingerprints that's on the drums because drums oftentimes sit around and uh, if you don't take care of the metal work, if you don't take care of the sparkle, it'll often tarnish. Plus there's other parts of the drum like the leg rest right here that gets a lot of wear and tear. Uh, and we wanna keep this looking good because it's pretty dusty uh, and we wanna get ready for some 4th of July drumming fun. So let's take a microfiber towel and show you guys how to do this. This works great with guitars as well, so maybe we might do another video on this on how to clean guitars this way. Now, if you have drums, there's two different kinds. There's a lacquer kind and then there's also a wrap. This is a wrap. Lacquer will have a painted surface on there. You can use that uh, this method with that as well. You cannot use this method with bare wood drums. There's a lot of drums out there that are bare wood. You can see on the bottom of this drum, because there's a clear head, you see how the inside's wood, uh, but the outside's wrapped. That means the outside's protected, but the inside right here, uh, you don't want to use the hybrid V7 on that because that's natural wood. Uh, so if you have a natural wood drum, this method won't work. But let's start uh, off by cleaning it. So let's start on the side. Now to clean percussion instruments, drums, uh, any type of stuff like that, this works if you, if you play drum set, this works on your drum set drums as well, snare drums, uh, even other uh, stuff like timbales or congas uh, or any type of um, musical instrument, even stuff like egg, um, egg shakers and other types of toys, this works great for doing that as well. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little bit of hybrid V7, I'm gonna turn on my sprayer. There we go. I'm gonna spray a few sprays on my microfiber towel, okay? I'm gonna prime it a little bit because I'm gonna get wiping down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping down the drum. Now it's okay that I'm getting it on the drop cords because Hybrid V7's clear, uh, it, it dries clear, there's no uh, heavy wax in the solution, so I'm not gonna harm the drop cord or stain the drop cord. Now once I've uh, uh, applied the Hybrid V7, I'm gonna take my microfiber towel and I'm gonna easily buff off any hybrid V7. And then I like to just move my way around the drum. And I notice how it gave a nice sparkle sheen to it. Uh, I like the way it looks. It made it look really nice. This, this drum is not, wasn't originally this sparkle uh, color. It was actually a uh, white color, but you know, when you play drums, you wanna be out there and you wanna be seen, you wanna be number one. So uh, this bright sparkle color is real nice. Uh, and it's great when I play with this drum group in Long Beach, they're an awesome group to play with. So all their drums are this color and it really looks good. Okay, there we go. So now we apply the V7. I'm gonna flip over my towel again and I'm gonna buff off any types of different. Now this is gonna remove fingerprints. This is gonna remove dirt and dust. And sometimes when you play drums, especially marching percussion, uh, you're gonna be out in the rain. Uh, people that do like drum corps are notice that you, you use your drum like all the time. Uh, every time of the year you play out in the rain and uh, in bad weather and hot weather so this is good to keep the drum protected because this also has uva and uvb protection in the drum so if you have another type of drum like maybe a dynasty or a yamaha pearl tama uh, slingerland any of those this will work perfectly fine uh, it's great if you guys are out there if you're in drum core uh, if you're young and uh, you want to keep your drum looking nice or you want to keep your your snare line or your tenor lines drums looking nice this is a great way to do that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buff off the end and I'm gonna clean it up. Now it's okay, you can see I got on the drop cords and it's not gonna harm it. So now let's move on to the top right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean uh, the 
rim. Now the rim often gets beat on a lot because that's where you, you do rim shots and you hit different types of stuff. So I'm gonna take the microfiber towel like this in my hand and I'm gonna spray it with some quick detailer. And now I'm gonna go on and clean all this area right here. Now there's some like gun right here at the back, but it's cleaning up the metal work very nice. Now later on, I might actually take some metal polish and I can simply polish up the metal work. Um, that's really good to do, but that takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of uh, effort to be able to do that. So we want to just give it a quick little cleanup and clean the harness bar right here. Sometimes this drum gets um, a little bit oily uh, because like marching percussion, the head needs to be real, real tight. And so if you're in drum corps and you're tightening up the head, a lot of times people add a little dab of grease um, to, the, uh, to the lug. And so the problem is that that grease sometimes develops dirt collection. If you're playing outside, you're playing in events. Uh, this drum doesn't have a case, it's like an odd size. So I take it everywhere to play. Uh, stuff like parades and things like 4th of July, little trumpet events, fun stuff like that. But you can see it's cleaning up the chrome real nice. And then once we've cleaned up the chrome with the V7, we just flip over our towel to a dry side and we wipe it clean. There we go, we cleaned up the chrome. This chrome is really old. Uh, it's, it's made in the 1960s, so it's well old, way, way older than me, uh, but it's looking fabulous. Now let's go over to the bottom right here, and so let's clean up the leg rest. Once again, I'm gonna take my microfiber towel, spray a little bit on there, and clean up the leg rest. There we go. This is awesome because if your drum is like brushed aluminum, if you have brushed aluminum uh, lugs or if you have chrome lugs or stainless steel or even powder coated drums, there's a lot of people that have powder coated drums now. Like you see like white drums and then you have powder coated lugs, things like that. Uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and use Hybrid V7 because the Hybrid V7 is gonna do a couple things. It's gonna remove dirt, dust, fingerprints, body oils from touching your drums. It's not gonna harm the finish uh, because it's going to protect from UVA and UVB solar rays. So if, you're, if your drum's outside, if you're playing outside a lot, it's gonna reflect the sun and it's also gonna protect it and add gloss enhancers. So there's gloss enhancers in the formula. So that's why it's making that red sparkle uh, really pop out. It's just making it look awesome. You can also use carnauba wax on this, uh, but carnauba wax often, if I have these drop cords and it kind of makes it a pain, and that's why I really like using uh, hybrid V7 for that. So now we can go out, we can play some drums, have a lot of fun, and uh, we'll go out there and enjoy some 4th of July. So if you guys have any more questions about hybrid V7 or detailing musical instruments, uh, you can check us out on YouTube, our Facebook, or you can find us having fun at chemicalguys.com.